so now let's say I don't change, I still consider the transportation cost a double, uh, which we have here hidden. Okay, so I unhide them, so I still consider the transportation cost a double. But what I want to see, I want to optimize it for the year 2008. So what will I do? If everything else remains the same, I will just change my demand values to 2008. No, I, we were solving for 2008, so we'll go for 2009 now. So I'll just click equal to, okay? And then I'll go on my demand forecast sheet, and then I'll select this one here and enter. And then I will just drag it up to this point. So all of the values should be updated as you can see, okay, so this is my 2009 values. All of them are updated here. And then, yeah, I will just re keep everything else same and I will go to solver and then I will go for solve. And okay. Did anything change? Actually, no. Our, uh, our, our, yeah, considering double cost here, our solution remains the same, okay. What if we solve it for 2010? Okay, so I will use this sheet here. So I go to uh, my original sheet, this one. I start a function with equal to, I select the first one here from 2010, enter, and then I will just drag it to this point. And I will keep other things the same, and I'll go for solver and solve. Okay. Yeah, now we also have to open the Philadelphia one. Okay. So these two, Seattle solve, serves these two locations, Midwest and these ones are served by Atlanta. Philadelphia also serves the Northwest part. Okay, this will be our solution now. So I hope now you can build a Excel file like this for optimization and you can play with it and with some different scenarios you can find optimal solution.